I'm pretty sure you've been there. You're trying to create a website, a landing page, or even a LinkedIn bio page, and you're adding images to the page, but the image doesn't have a clean background, so you practically can't use it. So in this video, I'm gonna solve that problem for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove backgrounds from images in a few different steps, and all of them are free to use. Let's start. So the first way you can remove backgrounds from your images is by using an iPhone. Yes, it is possible directly on an iPhone. And no, you do not need the latest version of an iPhone, the 14 Pro, Max, Ultra, Plus, Plus, whatever. You just need an iPhone that's capable of running the latest iOS version, which is 16 point something. Now, I don't use an iPhone right now, but what I do have is an iPad, which is running the iOS 16 version. So let me demonstrate how the process will go, whether you're using an iPhone or an iPad, which are both running the iOS 16 update. So I'm using the built-in screen recorder on the iPad to demonstrate this and what I've done is download a few images from the internet where I can use this feature to demonstrate how it's gonna work. This is the first image of a camera, let me show you the second one. This is an image of a dog I have, then I have this image of a light, then I also have image of a person, a beautiful looking woman. So let me demonstrate how the process is gonna work. It's very simple and of course you can do it on your iPhone, iPad or even Mac. I think it's available on the Mac as well, but I don't know the exact process how it's gonna work on the Mac. This is how it's gonna work on an iPad, on an iPhone. So you open the image up and what you have to do simply is just touch and hold the subject that you want to actually extract or remove the background from. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm gonna to touch the image or the screen behind the camera and you'll see magic happening right here on the screen. So as I touch, you see a small flash happen on the image. That is where uh, Apple or iOS is calculating what the background is and removing subject. And now if you wanna share this, all you have to do is just copy this or drag it to the favorite uh, app you like. For example, I'm just gonna demonstrate how it can work with notes and I'm just dragging the image right here. And now this image has been added to notes. And if I touch it, you'll see the all the background has been removed and I'll just demonstrate how this works by changing the light background mode as well. So you can see it works both on dark and backgrounds or dark and white backgrounds. That means the image cutout is pretty good let me demonstrate how it works on second image the image of a dog this is a more difficult one because the color of the background and the color of the fur of the dog are quite similar let's try how it works i'll just tap and hold on the dog's nose once again and once more this works let me just drag and drop it here and beautiful you see the image is now added here and it's a pretty decent cutout i'd say pretty easy and pretty quick solution that you can use and you can also try the next one which is this one let's try this light i'm just going to tap and hold the light Oops, I triggered another feature. Let me get rid of that. And once again, I'm able to highlight and extract the image of the light beautifully, very easily right here. Let's also try this with the difficult image of the woman because there are a lot of hair and dark areas. Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna just touch uh, uh, the subject once again and you see, I can do this once again. It's pretty accurate. It's decent, I'd say, in this case because the uh, hair are actually much in the shadow, so it's a difficult image. But still, uh, Apple is doing or iOS is doing a pretty good job in uh, extracting the background or removing the background from these images. So that's how you remove backgrounds from images on any iOS device which is running iOS 16 or above. It's very easy, it's built into iOS, no payment required, nothing else. And of course, I was just demonstrating using the Notes app. You can use your email, you can copy and paste in any other app you like, or use your iCloud on your Mac to transfer images. That is completely up to you. You can use AirDrop and everything. All that features work as well. But the highlight of this feature is it's very easy to use. It's built in right into your device and it's free to use, of course, for any images. And it works pretty well for difficult images as well. So use this and let's talk about the next feature or the next product. So the next way you can remove backgrounds from images is by using Canva Pro. If you don't know, Canva is a graphic design software that lives in the browser and also is available as a desktop app now, at least for Windows. And it also has a beautiful feature to remove backgrounds from images. Let me demonstrate. I've chosen these three images that I'm gonna place on the screen for this demonstration. And I've already uploaded them in Canva. And what I've done is, is just create a, or choose a very basic design, which is not related to the subject I've chosen, but it will let me demonstrate or help me demonstrate how the background removal feature works. So what I'm gonna do is take each of these images first place them on the design first somewhere here so i can demonstrate how the feature will work let me place all the designs first this is the first one let's choose the second one yeah and let's also choose the third one let's place it here and all you have to do to remove the backgrounds from images is first select the image and that will give you the option to edit image here you click this and you have multiple options that you can perform on your images. Apart from removing the background, you also have transform options, uh, color correction, and all that good stuff. But I'm gonna use the background remover feature here, which is right here. I'm gonna click this and Canva will work its magic in the background while I will work on another image and do the same thing. I'll just remove the background. I'll go here and do the same thing. 
and I'll scroll up. Let's see if the first image has been processed. It's taking a while. So I'll speed up the process and I'll just show you the part where the image background move has done. Oh, it's already done. So now you can see the background has been removed. It's not perfect by any means. There's some glitches I can see, but it's a pretty decent solution, right? It, it definitely can just use a little bit of touch up, but you can still utilize it on most designs where the background is not as contrasting as this one. Let's check out the second one. Oh, and this has this is a beautiful job done because this is a lot uh, difficult subject to work with but canva has done a fantastic job in my opinion to like isolate the hair isolate the uh, all the different areas of the image very beautifully so it works pretty well and if you want to you can just do uh, some other operations on the images as well for example if i want to flip this image i can flip it this makes more sense in terms of this design so that's also also how it works Let's also see the next image and this one has been done fantastically. This is a particularly hard image to get because if you see the original image, the background of the image and this dish that the food is served in is very similar. So isolating that is very difficult on an AI platform, but Canva has done a fantastic job and you can see the background is as clean as it can be. So that's how you remove your backgrounds from your images using Canva Pro. It's very accurate, it's fast, and it's very easy to use as well. Definitely Canva Pro is not free, it just costs a little bit of money, but it's well worth it if you want to utilize these Pro features. Otherwise, you can use the most of the platform for free. But if you're looking for a completely free solution, I got you. Let's talk about the third method to remove backgrounds from images for completely free, no cost. So let's talk about the third method to remove your backgrounds from your images for completely free. And the method I'm going to demonstrate is by using Adobe Express. Now, what is Adobe Express? It's a tool very similar to Canva that helps you design creatives for Instagram, for social media, for your YouTube and all that. And it is definitely a freemium service. There are some things that you can use for free and some of the features are actually paid. But the remove background feature is actually absolutely free to use if you sign up for a free account. That's the only caveat. If you want to download images, you can use or demonstrate or like try the feature out for free. But if you want to download high resolution copies of the images, you'll need to sign up for a free account. I already have signed in. And what I've done is just to speed up the process is open up three different tabs with the exact same, uh, like I said, tool, the, the background removal tool. And of course, I'll link that in the descriptions if you want to check it out. And what I'm going to do is drag those same three images that I used in the previous demonstration in Canva to all these three tabs. And let's see how it's going to work. So let's quickly drop the images on the tool and see how it's work. This is the first one. Let's also drop the second one here. And let's drop the third one. And I'll switch to the first tab first. And it's a pretty good cutout in my opinion. And I'd say it's very similar to how it was done in Canva, but the edges look a little more refined to me. You be the judge. Let me know in the comments what you think is did a better job. Did Canva do a better job with this image or did Adobe Express do a better job? And of course, I can download this and even customize this. Now, this is a feature you won't find on Canva where you can utilize Adobe's online service to actually customize the or I'd say refine the edges a little bit, which gives it a little bit of edge over difficult subjects in my opinion. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to download the images so I can just place them on the screen so you can see how uh, beautifully the cutout is and this is the second one let's also check that out and of course this is also a great great cutout and some of the details that i can see on the screen is even the fine hair on the edges have been perfectly cut out by adobe and that's a fantastic uh, result in my opinion i'm going to place the image on the screen once again so you can compare the before and after of what the image looked like with the background and without the background and let's also, also check out the third one and oops, I think this is the result where Canva actually beats Adobe because it de detected the plate around or I say the dish around the food accurately and Adobe just cut out the uh, dish uh, completely and just uh, captured the food. Now, it might be the case that uh, if you use the customized options, you will be able to refine those edges clearly. But on the image it tried, this is what happened. Now, of course, your mileage will vary and depending on the kind of images you use to use this demonstration, you'll find different results. And of course, in the couple of three or these three results, I've only found this result to be, well, I say inaccurate, at least from what I was expecting, but these two results have been fantastic. So that's how you remove your backgrounds from your images using Adobe Express's free background removal tool. It's pretty fantastic. Link is in the description. You can go check it out. Now, of course, I already demonstrated three different methods to you. You can pick any of these like or any of these methods that you like. There are tons of websites that are actually offering these solutions for either for free or for a freemium or a paid solution. And I wanted to just test them out. But instead of doing a complete demonstration, what I'm going to do is just place the results that I found with these images or with these different images using these different tools on the screen so you can go check it out. So let's roll that quick montage so we can decide which service is best for you.
And that's it folks, the three plus beautiful ways you can utilize to remove backgrounds from your images for free and for a very small fee. Now once you cut out the images, you either want to use them on a website or a landing page, right? So if you want to learn how to build a website, you go check out this video right here. And if you are creating a LinkedIn bio page, then you can check out this video right here. You are listening and watching to Yuvraj from Double Beginner. I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button as well on this video. Take care.